Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I know I look tired. <laughs> Again, it's because of uh, me not sleeping very well. But today I really want to do a cool toned, like grayish, silverish, smoky eye. Uh, I have already done my brows and I have already put down some concealer as a base. I'm going to do my foundation and everything after I, I've done the, the eyes. I have some new stuff to play with. Um, I haven't played with Nip and Fab eyeshadow palette in Jeweled that much. It looks like this, so I'm going to uh, play with this color and I might go in with that toppy brown there. And then I have bought two colors from H&M. So I have this silvery color that I really want to use and then also a darker uh, silver color grey that I want to use and then I might add glitter but anyway if you want to see this grey smoky eye then please keep on watching. I'm just going to take some something on my lips because they are dry. Mm, so I'm starting out with a fluffy brush with that shade called Royals which is a taupey grayish purple. And this will just be my transition shade. Uh, this was too flimsy. <laughs> I'll go. I will be back with that one, but I'm taking my Morphe brush instead. So this pu pulls a little bit warmer than I thought. Actually, it almost looks like a warm tone brown. But we can work with that. But on this side, it looks like a completely different color. <laughs> That's fun. I think it is when you blend it out, it turns more brownish. Can you see the difference? Why did it do that? Now this is a kind of look that will look absolutely best in the end when the base is on, just so you know. Now I have taken this quite far up so it's time to start building the shade. and. I'm actually going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I know you've seen this a lot on my channel now. But in this we have this kind of grayish brown and then also this kind of grayish black. So I'm going to start off out with that, that shade first. Just in my outer corners and in the crease a bit that's a lovely color actually every time I use the Jacqueline palette I'm surprised that it, it works so good, it's so like easy to work with. Going back to that first brush, I'm just going to uh, 
blend on the edges a bit. Taking the same brush and that darker shade in the Morphe palette and placing that wherever I place the other one. Go back to <clears throat> the fluffy brush. I'm actually going to take some of that lighter shade we used the first time. Just a tiny bit. And blend with. As you can see. There we go. Then I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to take the H&M shadow in Anth Anthracite Anthracite uh, It was the darker shimmery grey And I'm just going to press that on the outer part of my lid about halfway through now I have some fallout but I haven't tapped my brush off or anything I just I just didn't do that um, I'm just going to wipe off that brush quickly and then going with the other H&M shade which is over the moon that looks like this and basically do the same but in my inner half of the lid It's not often that I do this cool toned silver looks, but it's fun. You can achieve more pigment by using your finger, so I'm actually going to do that. And as you see, this made a lot of difference. Something like this. I'm going to wipe away all of my fallout and I'm going to do my base and then we can finish up the eyes. So I'll be right back. So I'm back. I have done my base and now we should finish up the eyes. So I'm basically just going to um take a, another brush i'm going to um oh, smoke out my lower lash line i'm quite happy with my base actually I try to wear a cool toned blush and um, I think it looks good. Sometimes I'm having trouble knowing what's cool tone and what's warm tone. To be honest, I know it's weird but... No, I'm just taking that, that shade to blend. As my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take uh, a highlight from Nevin Cosmetic Starlight Fantasy Palette. Uh, and I have it on my face as well. It's the 
Silver Fox shade. Like that, and then I'm just going to put the H&M Color Essence Eye Pencil in Great Grey on my waterline. And on my tight line. Now you can just add mascara and the look will be done. I just need to, I'm, I'm going crazy about that one. What did I say? Yeah, you can add mascara and the look will be done. I, however, really want to uh, put down some glitter on top of this. So I'm going to take my Pixie by Petra. Glitter Eye Quad in Gold Lava. It looks like this. And I'm going to take that shade. And I'm going to place it where I have the silver. And I'm just going to take some glitter glue. And tap that on. like that and then just wait for it to kind of settle a little bit and then I'm just going to take that shade that shade with my finger it has a golden undertone so we'll see how this ends up Yeah, it had a golden undertone. I don't know if you can see. Uh, which kind of made it a little bit war warmer. Uh, but we can live with that, can't we? So my intention wasn't to warm this up at all. <laughs> uh, but sometimes that happens. Uh, I'm just going to add some of that darker uh, grayish color. Uh, and uh, blend a bit I don't know what kind of lips to use for this look what do you think? Can I wear like a red or yeah, but I don't know. I'm going to add mascara and find something for my lips and my battery is about to die so I will do that off cam and I'll be right back. So here is the <coughs> so here is the finished look. Um, on my lips I'm wearing the Marc Jacobs uh, lip creme lipstick in mahogany. I think it's a bit warm for this look, but I didn't know what to wear, I'm sorry. Um, let me zoom you in so you can see the eyes better. I think this glitter looks absolutely amazing, although <laughs> it shifts in gold, which was not my intention. I should have used... Um, let me see... I should have used from the other quad I have, I should have used this silver one, but yeah, that is what happened. <laughs> um, love this, I, I think I have found a new love for glitter actually. Putting on my glasses, my hair needs to be washed. 
anyway thank you so much for watching um please like this video if, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you as a subscriber and uh, yeah maybe this can be a look for new years or or whatever um again thank you for watching and until i make another one you guys please take care bye